Are there people? The God you have sucked in the water, and given divine life to those who believe in him. Let us turn to him and ask them for the gift of life from this bond, from this child he has chosen. Father, God of mercy, in these waters of baptism, you have filled it with your life as your very own children. From all who are baptized in water of the Holy Spirit, you have formed one people, united in your Son, Jesus Christ. Blessed be God. You have set us free and filled our hearts with the spirit of your love, that we may live in your peace. Blessed be God. You call those who have been baptized to announce the good news of Jesus Christ to people everywhere. Blessed be God. You called your child John to this cleansing water and new birth, that by sharing the faith in your church you might have eternal life. Bless this water in which you will be baptized. We ask this. In the name of Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dear parents and godparents, you've come here to present John for baptism, a water of the Holy Spirit. He is to receive the gift of new life from God through his love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring him up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives him is kept safe from the poison of sin grow always stronger than his heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, then you now devour your your own baptism, reject sin, profess your faith in Christ Jesus, this is the faith of the church, this is the faith in which this child is about to be baptized. Do you reject Satan? I do. I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God? Father Almighty, the angel of heaven and earth. I do. We believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died on the day, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. I do. I do. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. I do. I do. I do. This is our faith, this is the faith of the church, the Father of the Testament, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Is it is your will that John should be baptized in the faith of the church, which we've all confessed with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. to you.
God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, is preaching from sin, gives you a new birth for walking the Holy Spirit, and loving you and his holy people. He now anoints you with the prison of salvation, as Christ is an iron priest, prophet and king, so may live always as a member of his body, sharing everlasting life. Amen. 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 See in this white garment, the offer sign of your Christian dignity, with your family and friends, to help you by word of example, break that dignity, unstained, into the everlasting life of heaven. Amen. Amen. You're going to light the candle. You're going to use the candle. We'd like to participate in the from the Easter Canon to remind you of Christ's resurrection and life return with this John the Hatch here. And of course, the basis of our faith. Receive the light of Christ. Parents and God parents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. This child of yours has been enlightened by Christ. He is to walk always as a child of the light. May he keep the flame of faith alive in his heart. When the Lord comes, May you go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. My dear people, John has been reborn in baptism. He is now called a child of God, for so indeed he is. In confirmation, he will receive the fullness of God's Spirit. In Holy Communion, he will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God his Father in the midst of the church. In the name of John, in the spirit of our common sonship, let us pray together in the words our Lord has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of heaven. Through her son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers as you see the hope of eternal life shine on their children. May he bless the mother of this child. And now thanks God for the gift of a child. May we be one with him and thank him forever in heaven. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, the giver of all life, human and divine, may he bless the father of this child. As parents, we have their duty to bring up the child in the ways of faith. May they be also the best of teachers, may they witness to the faith for what they say and do in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. By God's gift, through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. In his goodness, may contain the poor righteous blessings upon these sons and daughters of his. May he make them always, wherever they may be, faithful members of his holy people. May he send his peace upon all who are gathered here, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Congratulations. Can we have our book back? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
this really is nice. Look how long this is. I'm just not gonna make 11 seconds. 11. Let's take a picture.